An easy way to think about the Jupiter Python environment is to consider it as a Russian doll, those wooden dolls of decreasing size nested one inside another. The biggest doll is the Jupyter Lab, which is a web-based environment where we develop our code. Then there is the Jupyter Notebook, which is where we create our workflows as the combination of code and narrative. Our code must be written in a programming language, and here is where we get to the third doll, which for us is Python. And Python is enriched by an extraordinary amount of packages or libraries that allows us to manage data, visualize data, create complex programs, and be at the forefront of code writing. And finally, yeah, we need some hard work to learn all these tools, but the results is gonna be very, very satisfactory, and we will be able to create great code for research and science. All these tools, in fact, are open and they allow us to create reproducible workflows so that we can work in a transparent way. The first thing to do is to install all these tools. We can install them separately, but it is particularly convenient to install all of them at once. One way to do this is to install Anaconda, a platform for scientific computing in Python. So we can open the browser and go to anaconda.com distribution and click on download. Then we select the operating system of our machine and we download the platform with the newest Python release, 3.7 in this case. Great, once downloaded, we install Anaconda as we would do for any software. Let's open Anaconda and see what comes up. We can see Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, Spider, a bunch of other software. Let's start with the Jupyter Lab in the next video.